hello welcome back to the channel so today is going to be a project share for the upcoming um, December 1st release of Scrap Diva Designs new dies so um, here is Erica's website and then here is the all her social media here on the back okay so these will be available December December 1st um, I already did an unboxing um, I will come back on um, December 1st and put links to all of those to all the dies that I received in there in the um, in the video where I did the unboxing so right now it doesn't have links because they're not available but they will be and so then I will add those in so let me show you the ones that I have played with first so first off I used this one which is called the 3d gift purse okay very very fun and easy um, die set to play with so what you get is let me go over these pieces real quick all right so you get the base piece okay so you're going to cut out two of these this is the layering piece to cover the outside and the inside if you if you want to okay you're going to cut well if you if you line the inside you're going to cut four if you're going if you're only going to line the outside then you would just cut two okay so that's the lining piece these are both stitched okay this piece is the side piece so you're going to cut two of these to round up these sides right here like that okay this is the bottom piece so you just need one of these okay these both have layering pieces <clears throat> that fit inside here okay so you're going to cut out those to line and these are the um these are the same size okay so one is the liner for this and one is liner for that for this bottom piece here right here but they're the same size okay so you can cut three of these and um, give you the two sides and the bottom okay so those are all your um, pieces for the purse and then it also comes with these pieces okay so you got all these four bells and then you got these two sprigs here and then this kind of more like a pine uh pine needle leaf sprig right here and what i really love about this release is a lot of the dies that are released in this set in this release are all hooked together so you don't got to worry about all these little pieces being separate these stay together you don't cut them apart so much easier run it through one pass not having to put this one in and that one in and that one you know all these different ones um and it helps them from getting lost <laughs> also so it comes with that piece okay and then it also comes with this piece i still got some pieces stuck in here but anyway so you got your your base piece of your pine cone and then here's the layering piece so it'll show the um you know the little holes through and then there's the little sprig to go with it okay and this one is facing this way and then you also get another one same thing but it's facing the opposite direction okay don't mind my little pieces stuck in there i haven't fished them out yet so <laughs> so this is what all comes in this set again it is called the 3d gift purse okay so let me show you what i made with it So here is my first one that I have done. So um, here's my base piece. So I did layer um, the outside. I didn't layer on the inside of this one just because it was my first one. Um, but if I decide to do something with this one, I'll go in and layer it also. But so here's my front and my back is just plain. Okay. And then here's the sides, layered the sides also. Okay. And then the bottom. So very easy to put together, really quick, really, really quick. Now also what I used on this to, um, to decorate it is, so I, here's the, like the, this pink is the pine, uh, like the pine leaf um, sprig that comes with the set. And then here's the, I cut two of the um, 
what should we call it, pine cones and layered them up. They're, cut, you know, they're kind of layered up so it's kind of hard to see, okay? And then I use the poinsettia, which is also part of this release. Love this also. Again, here's where they're all connected so you're not losing pieces and you just run it through once and don't have to set them all up. Okay, love this. Love that idea. Okay, and I love these poinsettias because they're smaller. I mean, you got your big piece here, which is this biggest piece right here. But I have some other sets that have just way big pieces and I don't care for it. I used to, it has like one or like one little piece. And so I used to cut that one out, was cutting that out like over and over. So I love this that she's got a bunch of the little littler pieces to make smaller flowers. So anyway, so that is the poinsettia on there. And I, I think on this one, I used all the different sizes and just layered them all up. So it's got like, I think one, two, three, like six, la yeah, six layers on there. And then I just put some of the little balls there in the center. Okay, put a little Santa hat over here. Got a little bow that my friend Deborah made me. Thank you, Deborah. And then here's just a little, little pick from the Dollar Tree I just stuck behind there. Okay, and then I also right here used um, another new set from Scrap Diva. This is called Christmas Cheer Word Set. And don't mind my little Halloween note. I just, once I put them in here, I like to write down what all the words are because I, you know, a lot of times forget what words are part of it and, you know, how hard it is to try and tell what they are uh, backwards and stuff so <laughs> so I always just write them all down and stick that in my in my folder with the dies so that I remember which words are in there okay so that is part of the set also so I use Christmas and cheer so I put Christmas cheer they are um, so I have the the shadow piece back there in the red and then the word cut out in black and then I have them on some um, I had some black foam so I just popped them up on some really thick black foam so that's the dimension there and then I just put some pretty that pretty tool from um that I just picked up from Walmart this is gorgeous love that color so and I just stuffed that in there you know just for you know um video purposes <laughs> so that's my first project love 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 okay and then the next one I tried out was um This next one is called Winter Hat Memdex. Okay, so let me share with you the pieces that come with that. <clears throat> okay, so here is your Memdex piece. Okay, and then you have your Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I've had a cold. <laughs> uh, okay, so here then here's the um, just the hat layer. Okay, and then here is the stitched layering piece for the hat. Okay, here is uh, like the hat band, the regular piece, and then here is the stitched layering piece. Okay, and then it also comes with this which has this um, heart. Uh, this one's stitched on the inside. And so if you cut this one out, that'll be a stitching on the inside of your heart. Okay, and then there's this other layering piece here that has a little heart inside of it that you can put on top of that, really cute. Okay, then here's the uh, layering piece for the pom-pom, and then another one that has a heart cut out of it and stitching to layer on top of that if you want to, and then a bunch of little hearts you can add in, and then this little, um, uh, little circle thing right there okay all right so there's that piece that comes with it it also comes with this piece that cuts out these uh, like um, arrow pieces kind of has like a Nordic type look to it and these tiny little trees that it will cut out okay and again they're all hooked together so you're not gonna lose all these pieces and then I love this it comes with this one also so this cuts out this shape and that shape and this shape okay they're all stitched um so when you cut this out it's going to make leave that stitching mark in your paper also okay so this you could layer up with, with the stuff that you cut out but it's meant more for um cutting out uh cutting out from your piece Okay, so let me show you what I did. So these are all the pieces. Now, 
you do not have to make it a Memdex. I mean, you could layer up on here and just cut this off like I have done in the past, but this, the one I made, I did not use this at all because I just wanted to do the hat. So this, all these pieces right here, just make the hat, all the layering pieces, and you just don't use this piece if you don't want to make the Memdex. Okay, so let me put those aside here, and I will show you how I made mine. Okay, and I made mine a shaker. Okay, so here's just the hat. I didn't, like I said, I didn't make the um, Memdex part. Okay, it's layered up on foam. And so what I did here is I took this piece that comes with it, and after I cut my um, my layering piece for my um, for my hat, I laid this on top of it and cut this out. So you can see how if I lay that there, you see how it cut out those shapes, and then left the stitching mark around the outside also. Look how pretty that is. So I love this. I love that, how it inlays it like that, okay? And so then what I did is just, um, I cut, I did the same thing. I cut a piece of foam with my hat, and then I just kind of lined this up with what I had done here onto the foam also. And so then I cut the exact same thing out of the foam, okay? And then I cut this, the plain piece of the hat, layering piece, with out of acetate and put it in between um, the two, and then I just poured them, my little tiny micro beads in these little spots, just so there's just in here and just in here. They're not throughout the whole thing, okay? They're just in those spots that were cut out. Love that. Now, I could have done the same thing right here, but I didn't, but I could have. So I layered up this piece that is this piece of the die right there, okay? I put a pom-pom just on the top too, so it, I mean, I could have just put a big pom-pom right there, but I wanted that there, and then I just put a little pom-pom on the top to kind of just decorate it, okay? So then I use these little things right here, so this is this piece right here that cuts out these little things. So I just cut this out twice, and I put those two right there. I was going to use the trees, and then I didn't. I ended up putting some snowflakes back there, just like some of that confetti-type snowflakes, and I popped them up on... Uh, foam, and then I uh, use this word from the new Christmas cheer die set. I, I just put the words greetings there just because I didn't have a ton of space. And then this is another one of the poinsettias from her new set. Look how pretty that is. I cut it out of that red slick glitter. So beautiful. I think it turned out really pretty. So it's very dimensional. I popped up the whole hat on foam, of course, because I was making a, a a shaker and then I also when I did this hat band layering piece I popped it on foam also <clears throat> this piece back here for the the top of the um, you know the, the pom-pom area that's popped up on foam cut out of foam also and then I put a tiny little pom-pom there in the center and let's see see all my little shaker balls running around in there isn't that beautiful so love 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 this piece so, and you can use this inside anything, okay? So, love it. Okay, so that is that project. If you guys want a tutorial on that, let me know, and I'll do one for you. Because, you know, it's, it's a shaker where, you know, it wasn't really meant to be a shaker, but... Most things you can do a shaker out of if you, you know, kind of know how to do it. But Okay, let me see. What was my next one? Oh, okay. And I cut out a bunch of these words. Let me show you a few more of them. I haven't done anything with them. I just cut them out. Um, so let me kind of show you those also. I love the font on this. So here's the Seasons. Helper. Elf. <laughs> North Pole, so, so cute. Love all those. So these are just all flat. Nothing special about those, but I did cut out a bunch more. And some of them I've already used here. So that's some of the words. Okay, so then let me show you my next project, which is using the 
Let me find it. It is using, okay, this one is using the um, Elf mini album. Okay. And let me show you the pieces that come with it. And it's kind of, when I have already separated them and just put them in the bag like that, it's kind of hard to see what you get. So I thought I would share each piece. Okay, so here is your base, base piece. Okay, this big one. And then here is the next piece that's layering and it's stitched. Okay. Here is the face piece that goes down here. Here is the hat piece to layer up the hat. Okay. Here is the layering piece for the hat band, right there. It comes with some cute little glasses to put on the elf. And then these are the extras that come with it, okay? So this is a layering piece for the pom-pom. And then we got the mouth, the eyes, two holly leaves, and the berry, and then the nose, okay? Again, all stay together. Love, love, love. <laughs> Love that, Erica. I'm glad you're doing that. It's so nice. Thank you. If you happen to watch this, um, I love that aspect that you've done on just about all these releases. I didn't show you. I should have mentioned too on the words. This whole piece stays together. Also, you don't cut. Don't cut these shadow pieces apart. See how this is a big piece. This is meant to stay together. Okay. So all the shadow part stays in one spot and all you got to do is cut out you know for the regular words you just cut those pieces out but then the rest of this stays together so nice <clears throat> i forgot to mention that when i was showing you the word set so anyway so that is the elf mini album okay and he is good sized okay so he is I need to get a different ruler over here because this is a clear one. <laughs> I loved it because it had the gold and stuff on it, but it is very hard sometimes to see. So it's about six inches tall, okay? And it's about the widest point. It's probably about four and a half, okay? So I love this. Okay, let me show you what I made with it. This is my first one I've made. Look how cute he is. Isn't he darling? Okay, so this white piece here in the back, this is that big base piece I was showing you. You don't have to use that piece if you don't want to. I just did it for extra sturdiness. In fact, I had built the whole thing and hadn't and hadn't used that white piece yet, and I decided just to make it more sturdy. I put that back piece on, because I'm not sure if I'm going to make this into a mini album or you know, what for sure I'm going to do with it, but anyway that piece back there is the of the white is the 110 pound cardstock okay and then this green piece back here that is the second layer the stitch layer okay and then so that's behind this whole thing okay here is the face layer this is the hat layer here's the hat band layer right here and then the the um, pom-pom layer back up there and i actually cut that a couple times it's on foam twice so the whole thing, the whole um, hat is on foam, okay? Not the bottom, but the hat part I popped up on foam. And then the band, I didn't pop up on foam this time, but I did pop up the pom-pom. Um, so there's a pom-pom I cut out, had it flat, and I decided I wanted it to be on foam. So I cut it out again, the same pink, and layered it up on foam, okay? So there is that. So here's the glasses. I cut it out of foam also. Um, can easily make that a shaker also. Um, let's see. Here's the um, holly leaves. I put them on both sides, like both sides of his glasses. Okay, and then the little holly berry. There is the pink, and then I put that tiny little foam sticker, that peppermint foam sticker up on top of there. So there's his nose, here's his two eyes, and there's his mouth. Okay, this is just a sticker, old sticker I had for my collection I just put right there says Merry Christmas so isn't that adorable very very cute now I haven't made these other ones yet but I should probably show you um, because it also a part of the release 
is that it also has the Christmas elf. I haven't put these together yet, but this is the same. This is the same design as this, okay? But just way smaller, okay? And in this set, you actually get two sizes. So this, here's the one side, one size. And so see how it's all the same parts? Okay, just all the, it doesn't have like the very back piece, you know, like this white piece, because it's not meant to be, a, you know, an, an album. But you got your, your face and then your hat and then your band and the, the glasses and the pom-pom and all the different layering pieces. So here's this size. And then it also comes with a little bit smaller size. So when you order this one, you get two more sizes, two sizes. Okay, so if you had all these, I mean, you can you have a whole little family here of, um, so you got this one that's like six inches tall. This one is the smaller one and it's it's probably gonna be about, let's well, see, this piece is like, um, like one and three quarters or so. Plus, you know, it's going to come down a ways onto the, onto the head, onto the head. So it's probably going to be, what, maybe like two and a half or so in height. Okay. And then this one over here is a little bit, the little bit bigger one. And so this one's going to be about, this will probably end up being about three inches tall when you get this one put together. Okay. So I just kind of wanted to show you the comparison between the mini album size okay and let and I also want to let you know that these are all the same this is all the same parts other than these these back pieces to layer you know to make an album out of it okay but look how cute that is so there's that one in comparison and then this is the smaller one in comparison okay so I just wanted to point that out to you even though I haven't made those yet but I will because those are the cutest I love those okay so there is my three little projects that I have made so far. Of course, I've made cut out the words and I've cut out the poinsettias because uh, they are just beautiful. And I'll share some more of those on the next video. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Again, these will be available December 1st at Erica's website. I will list the website. I will or I'll link the website. I will link my affiliate link with all the links to the dies um and um my discount code so i'll list those things i'll list the things down here but i won't be able to obviously i won't be able to do the links yet because they're not up but what i have been doing in the past is going back to my original unboxing video and they're all listed there but they're not don't have the links yet so i will go back and edit that um as soon as they're available on the website, I usually stay up late on, um, you know, the day they're releasing and put them up so they're available for you right away. So make sure you use my discount code POCA10 to save you guys some money at checkout. Hope everybody's having a wonderful holiday season and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.